Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Stratford today for the press conference before Saturday's BT Sports show with me, fighting on the card against Gary Corin. I've got the natural himself, Mr. Larry Ekendeo. Larry, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. That was a mouthful, that uh, opening this week, yeah. Um, it's been a long time coming for you to get on a televised show for a decent belt. Uh, you had a bit of unfortunate time to, with the start of your career and a few bumps, but you're here now. That's right, that's the most important thing. I'm here, so that's good. Um, how's everything gone for this fight? Well, um, everything's going perfectly well. Good camp and um, good fight. And uh, also having to fight on the um, Box Nation and the BT Sports, so I'm really buzzing for this one. Obviously, Gary is someone I know you know well. You've been around the same sort of gyms in the same area, so you would have seen each other, if not spotted each other, I assume. Um, what do you think he brings that you will make a good fight? Well, um, everyone's got a plan, you know. I can assume this is what, what exactly he's going to bring to the team, but I can only guess, uh, which is him bring, try to, uh, what do you call it? Um, rough me up. So I think that's what I'll be expecting, really. So. Um, obviously, what happened with the Commonwealth title? I know that you were made mandatory for it. What happened? Well, I really don't know, but to be honest, I've got a bigger and better fight lined up in, instead of a Commonwealth. So I'll just focus on the WBO Intercontinental. So the Commonwealth, I don't know what's going on. So I really won't, won't bother about it. Do you think this is your big chance to open doors for yourself? Definitely. Definitely. This is, this is the time. This is, um, this is a big chance for me. So I just need to prove myself on Saturday. And what have you been working on in camp with Harry? What have I been working on? Everything, really. Everything. So we, we work on almost everything, to be honest. I mean, when was your last fight? Uh, last year, December. That's such a long time to be in the gym. And I know you've been in the gym. You don't really leave the gym. Exactly. I mean, so do you reckon some people say you can overtrain? Could that be the case for you? No, I never overtrain. Uh, I've got the best coach ever, you know. Um, we do everything moderate. We don't do too much and we don't do less. I mean, so you've got a massive African following uh, over here in the UK and no, over there. Um, what's the reception been like for this fight? It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be a lot of turn up like the Africans, the Nigerians coming out as well, which is what we Africans always want want to get the support of, of our own. You know. Um, my my like in the past my fan base like the 90 percent is british and this time there's a lot there's going to be a lot of turn up from the african and the nigerian um precisely will be coming up i mean i've seen a few fighters that have bought an african fan base from before and you can normally hear them over exactly over most so exactly. expecting, a, expecting a loud re reaction at the uh, uh i don't know to be honest but I know he's gonna be he's gonna be a lot of nice that night. So yeah. And hopefully a lot of celebration afterwards, yeah? Definitely, that's the plan. Alright then well Larry, press conference is starting soon, so I better let you shoot back, but I'll catch you before the fight of the way in tomorrow, but until then, thanks for the IFL TV. Yeah, legend.